Hi friends, welcome to my channel Strips to UK. Today I am so glad to inform you that tomorrow two of my friends is going to attend an interview for medical lab assistant band 3 a higher level. So I appreciate them for their effort and hard work. It's all because of their hard work only. They told me that they, uh, they had applied for more than 50 applications and now they are waiting for this interview call and uh, it doesn't matter if they win or not but it's all because of their hard work they are getting these invitation letters so what i need to tell you that try at least 100 jobs that's what i said in my first video because i got my invitation in my 98th application it's small it's all because of uh, my patience and everything because I need a job in NHS so I sacrifice and I struggle a lot to get a job because initially I don't know I don't know what to do how to uh, make a perfect application so I tried and each application I updated my uh, profile and now I am here so uh, for my new friends and my new subscribers just apply, apply until 100 then you will absolutely do you will win so now uh, I come. Uh, I will explain how to identify the keywords in the job description, and I wish you all the best for the uh, job seekers to find the right job. And let's have a look at this. In A, they are looking for a person who knows the standard operating procedure, which means the SOP. So candidate should follow SOP. That's they need. And the next one is manual procedure. And the manual procedure means they are looking for a person with high manual dexterity. Uh, in when we comes to the D, they, they said that they maintain and run analyzer on daily basis, which means that candidate should know how to run the QCs and how to make decisions if out of range of QC result. And when it comes to G, we should monitor the laboratory stroke level because uh, what they are looking for, a person who know the inventory works in the labs. And in H, they said that work with the policies and processes, which means that we should follow some policies and uh, health and safety procedures in the lab. And again, when we comes to the G, J, they said that enter data manually in the LIS, which means that a candidate should be able to uh, enter the result in the laboratory information system. And again, when it comes to K, they said that high level concentration is needed because they are looking for a candidate. The skill is what? The concentration. That is that the thing they are looking for. And again, when it comes to I, they said that perform preliminary MRSAs, which means that definitely they will ask a questions in the interview about MRSAs, MRSA. So we should say, we should say I know MRSA and what are the safety uh, while we are processing the safety procedures we need to take while we are performing the MRSA samples and how we can process the samples. So these all questions will come in this line. And again, uh, again they are asking for the chlamydia PCR and the urine microscope so these are the keywords that we can find and we can answer according to these keywords and again when it comes to two they said that the communication so this communication level that we can say if you have IELTS you can say that I can communicate efficiently in my history I mentioned that I know how to receive the patient samples and enter the data into the uh, laboratory information system and here I mentioned the urexone and iris these are the two machines which you use we used to for urine analysis and uh, here I mentioned MRSAs because in my job description they uh, they want to know a candidate who deals with the MRSAs and here I mentioned that I can perform the MRSA by gene expert and I perform the blood culture by the bacteria admission so likewise I mentioned what the things that I done and what the machines that I used to for so I, uh, I mentioned about the UK NICOS and uh, RICOS, National QC and everything. This means that I know uh, I am aware about the QCs and maintenance. So likewise, we can show our uh, experience in the brief uh, history, that particular uh, position. So they will first of all look at uh, the job description, keywords and what we are representing, what we are mentioning in the brief history. So likewise, uh, I get an interview call and uh, this is the way that we can, uh, we can uh, show our experience in the uh, brief history section.
so uh, first of all we should find out the keywords in the job description then we should uh, mention all these keywords in the brief history this is the last page of job description here they particularly mention which is essential and desirable first of all we will look to the education they need a nvq level 2 education and they are looking for a person who is having at least degree in the particular position and the next one is the experience they definitely look for a person who is experienced in this particular um, department because they need a significant previous laboratory experience so they mentioned there and next one uh, is the skills so we can add these skills in the supporting documents then only we will get a chance for an interview so the first skill understanding a confidential nature of patient data which means that we can add a skill confidentiality i will maintain the confidentiality next one the manual dexterity and the next one is accuracy and another thing understanding health and safety requirements in laboratory that means that knowledge about health and safety and another thing is ability to concentrate for the large blocks of repetitive work so we can say that i i am a person i am a focused person i have full ability to focus in the particular uh, particular section and next one is initiation and know about uh, the uh, know about hazards uh, how to handle the hazardous biological uh, and chemical materials and integrity flexibility uh, like that uh, you can add your skills so these are the keywords that we can find out the skills and you can add these skills in the uh, supporting documents so likewise you should uh, go through the job description very carefully so what are the things to do read the job description and find out the keywords and type uh, try to add these keywords and make a sentence and try to add in the brief history and try to figure out what skills the uh, employer is looking for then find out the skills and add these skills in the supporting documents and you can add the roles and responsibilities also I strongly believe that now you can find the keywords in the job description what I mentioned and according to the uh, last page we know that what are the skills they are looking for. So add these skills in the uh, supporting documents and uh, find out the keywords and uh, according to the keywords just you just briefly describe your experience. So do these perfectly and apply for the jobs until you win. So I wish you all the best and see you then.